Hey class, welcome back. Uh, today we are still talking about World War II and we're talking about Adolf Hitler. He was the main man who started World War II. All right, when when his not Nazi party in Germany invaded uh, Poland, it, it began World War II. But he, he was more than that. He he was a dictator. Uh, he wasn't a very nice man. Uh, so, but that's who we're talking about today. And he was one. He was the catalyst for World War II, uh, among other things. And, and we're talking a little bit about his life, a little bit about like what what caused World War II what happened you know with him today so uh, uh without further ado let's go so like i said he was a dictator of germany he was born in in austria hungary this is him right here uh he died in berlin in, Ger in berlin germany he committed suicide uh, after they lost the war he found out germany was going to lose the war but he's best known for starting world war ii and the Hol holocaust adolf hitler dictator of germany Born April 20th, 1889, and Brana in Austria Hungary. Died April 30th, 1945, in Berlin, Germany. Best known for starting World War II and the Holocaust. All right. So he was the leader of Germany from 1933 to 1945 for 12 years, and he was leader of the Nazi Party, and he became his powerful dictator. And one of his idols was uh, Benito Mussolini. All right. He started World War II by invading Poland and then invading a lot of other European countries. Uh, he's also known, like I said in, in his little bio just a moment ago, he's also known for wanting to exterminate all the Jewish people uh, in the Holocaust. He blamed them for many things as well. Biography. Adolf Hitler was the leader of Germany from 1933 to 1945. He was the leader of the Nazi party and became a powerful dictator. Hitler started World War II by invading Poland and then invading many other European countries. He's also known for wanting to exterminate the Jewish people in the Holocaust. So where did he grow up? Uh, he was born in Austria, Austria-Hungary. Uh, his family moved around some, lived a short while in Germany. His father wasn't really a nice man either. Uh, he didn't have a happy childhood, but his parents died fairly young, and his brothers and sisters died as well. So, uh, he didn't have a happy childhood growing up. This is where he, he was he was born in Austria, Hungary here. Where did Hitler grow up? Adolf was born on April 20th, 1889 in a city named Brana, am in, in the country of Austria. His family moved around some, living a short while in Germany and then back to Austria. Hitler did not have a happy childhood. Both his parents died fairly young and many of his brothers and sisters and sister died as well. All right, so he didn't do real well in school. He was expelled from a couple of schools before he moved to Vienna, Austria, to pursue his dream of becoming an artist. He, yes, he wanted to become an artist to begin with. And uh, while living in Vienna, he found that he didn't really have a whole lot of artistic talent. Um, and he soon became very poor. And so he later moved to Munich, Germany, and he wanted to become an architect after this. This is the days before the Nazi party and wanting to dominate the world. Where did Hitler grow up continued? Adolf did not do well in school. He was expelled from a couple of schools before he moved to Vienna, Austria, to pursue his dream of becoming an artist. While living in Vienna, Hitler found that he did not have much artistic talent, and he soon became a very poor. He would later move to Munich, Germany, in hopes of becoming an architect. All right, so when World War I began, Hitler joined the German army. There he is in World War I. Uh, he was awarded twice with the Iron Cross for bravery during the war, and it was during World War I that Hitler became a strong German patriot and also came to love war. So he was in World War I. Uh, there he is in World War I and won the Iron, the Iron Cross for bravery twice. Soldier in World War I. When World War I began, Hitler joined the German army. Adolf was awarded twice with the Iron Cross for bravery. It was during World War I that Hitler became a strong German patriot and also came to love war. All right, so his rise to power. After World War I, he entered politics, all right? A lot of these Germans were upset with how World War I ended and the Treaty of, of Versailles, all right? And it only, it blamed the war all on Germany, all right? 
the Treaty of Versailles did, and they wanted these harsh reparations against Germany, and uh, it took land from Germany, and, uh, and Germany was in this economic depression. So people were very poor, and a lot of it was because of the Treaty of Versailles, and it placed all these harsh reparations on them. So between the Depression and the Treaty of Versailles, the time was right for Hitler to rise to power. He used all of this anger that the people had in his favor. All right. He wanted, he, he took that and he, he played on their emotions to get the people on his side. Rise in power. After the war, Hitler entered politics. Many Germans were upset that they had lost the war. They were also not happy with the, with the Treaty of Versailles, which not only blamed the war on Germany, but took land from Germany. At the same time, Germany was in, in an economic depression. Many people were poor. Between the Depression and the Treaty of Versailles, the time was ripe for Hitler to rise to power. So once entering these politics, he discovered he was pretty good at giving speeches. Hey, I can, I can, I can give very good speeches. People like people who can give speeches. They follow those people. His speeches were powerful. People believed what he said. And uh, so he joined the Nazi party. And he became its leader. And he promised Germany, hey, if I become leader, I'll restore Germany to its former greatness. So in 1933, he was elected the chancellor of Germany. And after becoming chancellor, there wasn't really any stopping him from becoming the, the leader of Germany. So he had studied his idol. Like I said earlier, Benito Mussolini, who was the, the uh, leader of Italy, uh, he wanted to install this fascist government and become a dictator. And soon his, Hitler was the dictator of Germany. It, it didn't take him long after he became the chancellor to become the leader of Germany. Rise in power continued. Once entering politics, Hitler discovered that he was gifted in giving speeches. His speeches were powerful and people believed what he said. Hitler joined the Nazi party and soon became its leader. He promised Germany that if he became leader, he would restore Germany to greatness in Europe. In 1933, he was elected chancellor of Germany. After becoming chancellor, there was no stopping Hitler. He had studied his idol, Benito Mussolini of Italy, about how to install a fascist government and become a dictator. Soon Hitler was dictator of Germany. This right here, this is Benito Mussolini, who was the, the leader of Italy. All right, he was also not a very nice man. Uh, all right, then World War II came. In order for Germany to grow, Hitler said, hey, we need more land, or we need more living space. He first annexed Austria as part of Germany, and then he took over Czechoslovakia. And it wasn't enough, though. On September 1st, 1939, Germany invaded Poland, and World War II began. Because when he invaded Poland, Poland was, was friends with Russia and friends with, had allies, just like in World War I. Everybody were, were friends with each other and had treaties with each other. So if you invaded one, the other one's going to have their back. So uh, Hitler formed an alliance with the Axis powers of Japan and Italy, and they were fighting the Allied powers, which was Britain, France, the Soviet Union, and then the United States whenever they came into World War II. So, uh, but he was the one that began World War II by invading Poland. World War II. In order for Germany to grow, Hitler thought the country needed more land or living space. He first annexed Austria as part of Germany and then took over part of Czechoslovakia. This wasn't enough, however. On September 1st, 1939, Germany invaded Poland and World War II began. Hitler formed an alliance with the Axis powers of Japan and Italy. They were fighting the Allied powers of Britain, France, the Soviet Union, and the United States. All right. So Hitler's armor, army began to take over a lot of places in Europe. They, they attacked quickly what was called Blitzkrieg or Lightning Moor. Uh, and soon he had captured a whole lot of Europe, including France, Denmark, and Belgium. And see, at first, nobody did anything to try to stop him. They were looking at it the same way. Okay, well, maybe if he just goes and he takes over a couple of countries, it'll, it'll appease him. It'll, it'll keep him from doing anything else. Because we know they're, they're upset still about the Treaty of Versailles. So they allowed it to happen. And by allowing it to happen, he just kept going and kept going and kept taking over countries. But uh, finally, the Allies said, hey, okay, we're going to fight back. And on June 6, 1944, they invaded, invaded the beaches of Normandy and soon liberated France. And by March of 1945, the Allies had defeated a lot of the German army. And when, German, when Hitler got word of this, what did he do? He committed suicide. 
he got out. He t opted out uh, uh, because, well, he it, it was he had lots and lots of war crimes that that went on with him because of the Holocaust and everything, and he was going to be in lots of lots of trouble. So rather than do that, he just he committed suicide. World War II continued. Hitler's army began to take over much of Europe. They attacked quickly in what was called Blitzkrieg or Lightning War. Soon Germany had captured much of Europe, including France, Denmark, and Belgium. However, the Allies fought back. On June 6, 1944, they invaded the beaches of Normandy and soon liberated France. By March of 1945, the Allies had defeated, defeated much of the German army. On April 30th, 1945, Hitler committed suicide. All right. So now we're talking about, well, he had some heinous, heinous, very, very bad war crimes that that took place during during this time of war okay he's responsible for some of the most horrible crimes committed in human history he hated jewish people okay he wanted rid of them he wanted to get rid of every single one of them and he forced jewish people to go to concentration camps all right there were over six million jewish people were killed during world war ii this was called the holocaust okay and uh, over six million now think about that for a minute all right, that's 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 a whole whole lot of people. All right, he also had other people in races he didn't like killed, including handicapped people. So all these things were happening during World War II, and he called it ethnic cleansing. Is what he called it. The Holocaust and ethnic cleansing. Hitler was responsible for for some of the most horrible crimes committed in human history. He hated Jewish people and wanted to exterminate them from Germany. He forced Jewish people to go to concentration camps where six million Jews were killed during World War II. This was called the Holocaust. He also had other people and races he didn't like killed, including handicapped people. All right. So what, what political party did Adolf Hitler lead? Was it A, the Nazi Party, B, the Democratic Republican, or C, the Whig? It was A, the Nazi Party is what part, party he was with. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number two, what country was Adolf Hitler born in? Was it A, North Carolina, B, Canada, or C, Austria-Hungary? It was C, Austria-Hungary. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number three, what war did Hitler fight in before World War II? Now, he was a soldier during this war. Was it A, World War I, B, the Civil War, or C, the American Revolution? It is A, World War I. He was a soldier. He won the uh, a Medal for Bravery. Twice the iron, um, oh man, I can't remember what the name of it was, iron, but it was for bravery. World War One, he did one, he was a soldier. Ding, ding, ding. And he, got, he grew to love Germany at that time. And for which dictator did Adolf Hitler idolize? Who was his idol? Who did he want to be like? A, Julius Caesar, B, Henry VIII, or C, Mussolini? It was C, Mussolini, Benito Mussolini is who he wanted to be like. Uh, who was the dictator of Italy. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number five, what two countries were Germany's main allies in World War II? He had two allies that were part of the Axis powers. Was it A, Italy and Japan, B, Britain and France, or C, no one? It was A, Italy and Japan were the two allies that were part of the Axis powers. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Oh, we got more. We got more questions. I thought that was the last one. Was the name given to Hitler's killing of 6 million Jewish people during World War II? All right. Was it A, it doesn't cost, B, the Holocaust, or C, it costs a lot? It was B, the Holocaust. The Holocaust, over 6 million Jewish people were put to death. And it wasn't just Jewish people that were put to death. And anybody that he didn't, didn't see equal to him. All right, he wanted he wanted to get rid of them. He wanted to cleanse them. He wanted to get rid of all of them, and uh, and including including people with disabilities. Ding ding ding! We have a winner. So the name of it was the Holocaust. Though, all right, class, that is all for today. I will see you next time, right here, and we'll be talking more about World War II. Uh, you all have a very good day.